Reagan Sample, your Longmont Realtor, and today I'm with Sam Manastra, the owner of Colorado Mountain Cava, and we are down at Main Street in Ken Pratt in the Southmore Shopping Plaza. So, thanks for taking time to talk to us and tell us more about your business. I know when I first saw it at Cava Bar, I wasn't sure what it was. So, tell us more about your business and what made you start it. I appreciate you uh, reaching out to me and getting this going. Yeah. Um, Colorado Mountain Cava is a sober nightlife bar. We're open till 2 a.m. in Longmont. Um, we're a sober community, so we have no alcoholic drinks. It's all teas and other botanicals. Um, the community here is really tight, uh, tight knit. People come in uh, just one at a time, wondering what it is, then end up making friends in here. Oh, that's and cool. they look forward when they come here to seeing them. So That's cool. I can yeah. definitely get that vibe you're saying, people coming in and making friends. When I came in here, I'd never been in here before. And uh, first thing I got was like, you know, different, you know, welcomes and fist bumps and walking into a place for the first time, I definitely felt welcome, felt at home. So you've built an environment for that, so that's awesome. Uh, what made you create this bar? How'd you, what made you want to open this? So uh, it started, uh, I had a Kratom store in Ohio. And uh, before this, I never worked with any botanicals or even like uh, helping hand for people. I was always doing like, concrete, different types of stuff. Oh, wow. Totally different. Totally different. <laughs> when it came to the Kratom store though, uh, helping people with plant medicine and uh, helping people with certain ailments or, oh, so when I was at the Kratom store, uh, helping people uh, really helped me and helped them. So I just found that I really like helping people. And with the Kava bar scene, it being sober, like-minded people around, um, we try to keep good vibes here. Uh, we can control like what happens on the inside of the bar. Sure. So our main thing is to keep positive vibes, uh, build each other up. Nice. Yeah. And the thing, it's a you know, different alternative too. So when I first heard of it, I didn't know what it was. I looked it up, I check out the website. So check out the Car Mountain Kava website and social media pages so you can see what's going on and what they have going on here. But if you're in Longmont for more than one day, you know you've got a bunch of breweries, you've got a bunch of distilleries. So you want to go out and hang out with your friends and be in an environment where people aren't drinking, um, or that's something you want to eliminate from your life too. This is going to be a place you're going to fit in too, because it's going to be harder to find that environment where every other place is having alcohol happy hours. You can come down and have a different happy hour here and, and with friends and play pool and hang out and have a cool environment. So, um, what would you say is something that surprised you opening a coffee bar? Um, I would say how. People, at least in Colorado, just take to natural stuff. Yeah, people are more open to it. Um, I just like how everyone's like-minded here and the, by, the positivity it radiates and people end up telling friends and we end up making a big community here. Nice. Where everyone is uh, for the common good, uh, either self-goals or losing old uh, habits, stuff sure. like that. So. Definitely, was, people, um, like you are saying, change old habits, like getting rid of drinking, people want to stay health-minded, um, and it's a different option for people that want to go out, right? I know, I know people that say, hey, I'm not drinking, and they go places, and, and it's all around them, so they don't go out as much, and they don't socialize, and they don't necessarily know who to hang out with or where to go, so it's a great alternative. For sure. And like you are saying, you can control that vibe, and it's a different environment and where people are drawn to it for the same kind of purpose. So, um, you were saying right before we started filming, you've been open just about seven months, so not quite yep. a year yet. Yep. Um, coming out of the pandemic, you decided to open a kava bar, a different like alternative bar, and, 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 th and things are, are building up for you, so congratulations on keeping going. Um, before we end here, is there something that people maybe don't know about kava bar, or don't know about this, that they should know, that should come and check out? Um, so, I guess just what kava is, it's a root tea. Uh, they drink it in the South Pacific Islands as an alcohol alternative. Uh, so it has like mild, uh, relaxing, or euphoric effects. Um, but the good news is uh, there's no hangover, or you're not going to like lose your motor functions, your cognitive thinking. You're still all there, so it's a good way just to uh, de-stress for the day or whatnot. It's a great de-stressor. So. Sure. Yeah. There you go. So you can relax, de-stress a little bit, but you're still going to stay have your focus abilities to do things. You can come in here until two and you don't have to take an Uber home. There we go. <laughs> so you're saving money, you're yep. healthy, and, and you're staying safe too. 
So uh, yeah, check it out. We're down at uh, South Main and Ken Pratt in the southwest corner in the Southmore Plaza. And on outside the sign says Kava Bar. It's Colorado Mountain Kava. And thanks again, Sam, for telling us about your business. I really appreciate it. You got it. Thank you. Yeah.